In this video, we will be looking at four different kinds of loops in JavaScript. These are for loop, while loop, do while loop, and for each loop. For loop, first, let i equals zero. This is the setup. We are creating a counter variable named i and setting it to start at zero. Second is the condition, i less than five. This is the stop sign. As long as i is less than five, the loop keeps running. If it's false, the loop breaks. Third is the update, i++. This runs after every single round. It simply adds one to our counter. Now look inside the curly braces. This is the body, console, log i. This is the actual work. Every time the condition is true, this line runs and prints the current number to your screen. While loop, first, look outside the loop. Let i2 equals zero. This is the setup. Just like before, we create our counter variable and start it at zero. But here, we do it before the loop even starts. Next is the condition, while i2 five. The keyword while literally means, as long as this is true, keep going. If i2 is less than five, we enter the loop. Now we go inside the curly braces. First, we have the body, console.log i2. This prints the current number to the screen. Then we have the update, i2++. This adds one to our counter. In a while loop, you must manually type this inside the braces. If you forget this line, your loop runs forever and crashes your browser. Do while loop. First, we have the setup, let i3 equals zero. Just like the while loop, we set our counter to zero before doing anything else. Next, look at the keyword do and the curly braces. This tells the computer, run this code immediately, don't check anything yet. Inside the braces, we run the body, console.log i3. It prints the number to the screen straight away. Then the update, i3++. We add one to the counter. Just like before, if you forget this, you get an infinite loop. Only after the code runs do we check the condition while i3 is less than five. This is the security guard at the exit. If true, we go back up to do. For each loop. First, we have our list, const colors. It holds three items, red, orange, and green. Instead of writing a complex loop structure with numbers and semicolons, we just grab the array and attach for each. Inside the parentheses, we write a function. Look at the word color. This is just a nickname we give to the current item the loop is holding. You could call it X or item, but color makes sense here. Here is the magic. You don't need to tell it when to stop or how to add numbers. The loop automatically grabs the first item, red, and puts it into the color variable. Then it runs the code, console log color. It prints red. Then it automatically jumps to the next one. It grabs orange, puts it in the variable, and prints it. Then green, prints it. Once it hits the end of the list, it stops on its own. No counters, no infinite loops, just clean code. Thank you for watching. If this video helped you, hit that like button and subscribe. See you in the next one.